Do, 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 do. <laughs> People would watch this, watch our reaction to it, and expect that we hate this movie or something. When it pops up in EFAP movies, they'd probably be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just gonna be us talking about how Gandalf smokes too much weed. <laughs> <laughs> when they meet back up, Gandalf will be telling stories of, like, how they all managed to make it through some tough shit. You know, Frodo talking about his time in the volcano and Shelob and stuff. He'd be like, what was your toughest trip? Gandalf just like wide-eyed, camera zooms <laughs> on him, and just shows this. <laughs> I fell through a chasm fighting a giant Satan demon. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Gandalf, are, are you still high? <laughs> we should all just go to New Zealand together one time and check out the things. What happened yeah, to Old Zealand? I love the idea that they were like, this is so cool, let's show it again just to plot <laughs> how cool this was. See, that was Gandalf's message to say, use the eagles, you idiots, and they never did. <laughs> well, he did tell them to not use the eagles after last time. <laughs> You're sending mixed messages, Gandalf! This is still part of his trip, he's just pretending this is all happening. <laughs> And his career as a wizard is pretty eventful when he's not smoking weed. Then again, pretty much is when he's smoking weed. I like the shoot also. Beautiful. So he ends no, up on a fucking mountaintop. How the hell did that happen? So, in the book, what happens is there's a stairwell that goes all the way back up. And Gandalf pretty much just... He's still fighting the Balrog and, like, riding his way up to the top of the mount. Now the Balrog's like, shit, I don't know where else to go. And then they have to fight, and then he dies. Look, the elven rope. Oh, that mist doesn't look so thick anymore. Yeah. What's in this? This is a box of condoms. It's very special, that. I think there actually is an edit where he opens it up and a condom in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought maybe you and I would. <laughs> you never know, Mr. Frodo. Now, <laughs> Simon, when you said seize the chicken, what exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Still recovering from that last trip, huh, Frodo? I wonder what Tolkien would have thought about the whole eye on the tower thing. Well, the eye on the tower is taken from a part in the book. There's not a physical eye on top of it. It's a line, but, right? Uh, well, he looks into the uh, into Gal Galadriel's mirror, and he sees an eye wreathed in flame, and they just kind of put that on top of the tower to give Sauron a more physical presence since mm. he doesn't have one in the book. I'm okay with it because they do take a part of the book and just repurpose it for film. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's springy. How much do you think Fringy's gonna hate us when we release this? Yeah, and everyone starts sending him Gollum memes? None whatsoever. He won't watch this. Fringy's got better <laughs> things to do. I just imagine, like, Gollum art, but he has, like, the two yellow board eyes that Fringy has and a stripe down the center of his face. Well, you gotta change it up now, because he's got the Plague Doctor going for him. Oh, that's true. <laughs> he proofed himself against the Gollum memes beforehand. Oh, we can still make it work. Oh, yeah. What's something that Fringy holds dear so that we can make the My Precious thing still work? Kangaroos, maybe? You know, I don't think I've even heard him say that word, which is a shame. <laughs> this is what even... happens after you inject one marijuana. Not even once. You want the top What happens stuff? if you even think about doing that? I think I might have unironically seen a picture of Gollum on one of those anti-weed pages on Facebook. <laughs> this is the face of a meth head. <laughs> Well, Fringy, you're kind of a spurg. Mm. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Because of what Gandalf told Frodo, he lets him live and Gollum nearly fucks everything up twice. <laughs> then again, without Gollum, they might have been caught way earlier. Perhaps it's a good message of how you should take advantage of people and then kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how good this still looks. Mm -hmm. It does actually look pretty good. That's the nice thing, is they put the CGI budget to good use rather than wasting it a bunch of other shit. We let him go, he'll lead us right to a spider. <laughs> also, I want to point out, this movie was made on a budget of 90 million, and The Last Jedi was made on a budget of 317. Jeez. It's funny, the Game of Thrones Season 8 was made on an estimated budget of 90 million. <laughs> Each of the Lord of the Rings movies was 90 million, roughly. Oh yeah, 90 million for all of them was like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> fuck. I still, we've talked about it before, I just don't get how Peter Jackson managed to get that job. Yeah, because before this, he only made like zombie comedy. And he knocked this one out of the fucking park. Because like, why would they invest so hard into a fantasy as well, you know? Yeah, because there wasn't really any good fantasy before this. I've had some 
producers that were like, this is a sure hit. Originally, they were only going to be cleared for two movies, but one guy was like, no, and they gave him like a year to prepare before they even started filming. Totally different story with The Hobbit, though, because they were given no prep time and Peter Jackson only came on because they weren't going to film in New Zealand. He didn't. Well, and he just, he wanted to save it from being terrible. He was kind of forced into it. He didn't want to do it. There's also a lot of uh, studio meddling, like the whole... Tariel romance thing Ugh. was a studio decision. The actress was like not on board if there was gonna be a love triangle that they just had with anyway. Yeah, it's really it shitty what they did with those movies. What they just feed him? Look like blood. In the books, it's like basically orc liquor. It's really rough, but it keeps you alive, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's grog. Neat. Wait, the orc or the drink? Both. The drink. <laughs> I'm grog, and this is grog. <laughs> <laughs> I make it. I call it me. <laughs> What is this? What is this? like crumb. <laughs> Flesh. And penis. <laughs> I was gonna say, they must Stop leave a pretty running. obvious trail. <laughs> One of the York guys like, hey, you dropped this. <laughs> Be careful, this looks expensive. <laughs> Fun fact about this running shot, or these running shots, is uh, Vigo, this was after he broke his foot, and it was after Legolas broke his rib by falling off a horse. So this whole time they're like in horrible pain. I like the idea that they- uh, Do it for the movie. Peter the told movie. them that. It's like, by the way, guys, uh, we left all so, the running um, shots to last. <laughs> gotta get some rest because tomorrow we get up bright and early to do some running scene. Less than a day ahead of us. <laughs> Wait, walls are natural sprinters. Very dangerous over short distances. I <laughs> <laughs> love how much this movie fleshed out their characters more. Because Fellowship focused mostly on uh, Frodo. Yeah, and Gandalf. Uh, they're split up a bit, you know, they can get focused on. Something strange yeah. Work. Like Infinity War. Like Infinity War, yeah. About to say. No, it's an SJW movie. Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? That's racist, Eric. <laughs> Why'd you have to say that, Eric? <laughs> like, you just say, what do I see? I'm taking the hobbits to Isengard. God. God, 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 God. <laughs> the old world. Make Isengard great again. Saruman really gave all these orc jobs. They're even pulling people out of the dirt to give jobs. Man, they're proactive. This one's teeth aren't very good. So? Why are inspecting him? It's like, as if you have any standards. We don't have enough fuel to feed the fire. Saruman looks slightly to the left and sees a forest right there. Yes. <laughs> that orc's like, oh, I guess I didn't think of that. You gotta fight with that hand later. He even cut the back. You always cut the front. Hey, he's got typical UK oh, dental care. Oh, sweet. Are they get, do we get representation in this film? You surely do. So, your dentist that didn't like Game of Thrones, she like painted your teeth brown and like bashed them in with a hammer and said it was good, right? Mm -hmm. Well, hard. that's standard. You can get the premium, which is just you have them all removed. <laughs> that's too hygienic. It's true. She, you have them all removed and then put back in upside down. <laughs> so it, you just see the roots. Oh god, that sounds kind of scary, actually. <laughs> that, that would actually be kind of terrifying. Find the king's son! Hey, he was in doom. <laughs> oh no. This is another one of those, like, perfect casting choices. Yeah. <laughs> and then he did Alien Resurrection after this. That was also a perfect casting choice. The guy is weird as fuck. Yeah. He was a very good Chucky. movie to He was? Yep. Unchecked. You know who the new voice of Chucky is? Mark Hamill. Isn't that cool? Kind of makes me want to see it. Why'd, why'd they replace him? Is he dead? I... That's a good question, actually. I don't know. I think they'd want to bring him back because he's the original voice. I can't imagine a creepy-ass conversation where Grima, like, agreed to Saruman's plans as long as Saruman makes her fall in love with him or something. No, so no, he just- he- no, he just really, really wants to wear that green dress. <laughs> they run as if the very whips of their masters were behind them. Dude, insensitive comment. Wow, because they're black? That's fucked up. It's like the Aragorn never responded to him, and Legolas later is like, did- were you, like, offended by that? <laughs> That is one sexy orc. That That's one fat orc. orc. That was a Baowin orc. I bet it was hard pulling him out of the dirt. <laughs> he was like, I want to stay. I want to stay. Five more minutes. <laughs> I'm still cooking. God, he's such a gross looking orc. He looks way better than basically every single orc in The Hobbit. I mean, yeah, this probably took a ton of effort to make, but look how it paid off. I know, and it's done forever now. No one's gonna save you now. So that was a fucking lie. Oh, look, proper use of cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> also, look. Red sun rises. Blood has been spilled this night. <laughs> Aragorn's like, is, is that a real thing? Seriously? <laughs> really? Really? Don't people die like is every day in Middle Earth? 
Yeah. So every time the I see a red sky in the morning, I'm like, oh shit, someone died. I don't think the sun cares. <laughs> it's just <be> like <laughs> fucking worthless no. humans dying all the time. I love that Gimli reacts to Legolas looking out for him. It's so cool. Only children to your eyes. We left none alive. We killed the children just like Daenerys. <laughs> She's an inspiration in these lands. <laughs> that moment Eomir fucking realizes, like, shit, I just killed their kids. <laughs> if you look at Eomer when he gets on his horse, you can see his sword fall off. Okay, it's gonna be right here, Rags. Just look at Eomer's yeah, hip as he's getting on him. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you dropped this, like, thank you. You think the sound of it hitting the ground and whatever else, they must have been like, oh, let's do that take again, or they just like, yeah. You know, it might be plastic, so like, it didn't oh, hit yeah. the grass, so it might have been like, buffle. No one yeah, might they probably would have just thought it was a hoof. And they're all like, in the zone, so they might have just missed it. Immediately. Broke his foot. Rip toe. I, I just love that Peter Jackson, like, kept that in he was like man that was a great take vigo and then your reaction out. was so <laughs> your reaction of pain and anguish is so real how do you do it it's like i'm damn oh <laughs> that's genuinely what he thought too is that he put on a floor. really great performance and then it's like no no he just broke his foot <laughs> looks so good yeah like yeah so small there and it doesn't even look dated Wow, so, so when they were collecting up all the bodies, they took the trouble of grabbing that belt and throwing it on the pile. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, I just really fucking hate belts. The way they edit that, it's like, oh look, they're just a meter away. <laughs> like, go grab oh, them. Hi guys, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed disgusted. <laughs> I, I know, I love that story. It's talking, Mary. The tree is talking. Tree? I am no tree. It's like calling an Indian a Pakistani. It's mm -hmm, just, you know, mm -hmm. don't do it. They look exactly the same, but <laughs> fuck off if you get them confused. I mean, he calls them orcs, you know. Yeah. Pretty fucked up. Never heard of a hobbit before. Not very well read. But you don't read books or are made out of trees, Mahler. I can't fucking read books. What, why would they not be able to read books if they were made out of books? It's a, no, it's insensitive. insensitive. It's like reading a it's like reading a book that was printed on a scroll of dead baby skin. That's I'd do it. Really <laughs> Gandalf was hoping to hide out and get high in Fangorn, and then he was like, Oh fuck, these two. <laughs> well hey, at least they know they're weed. Oh. Looked like he stepped into a bowl of oatmeal. Yeah. So, uh, he's led us into a swamp, is one of my favorite, like, bread group memes, because we watched this as a group about two years ago. <laughs> he's led us into a swamp. And it was just like, oh. how do you not know that? <laughs> I'm just waiting for fucking Gollum to be like, the fuck, dude? It took him a while to process it. He's still a little high. <laughs> We must be quick, settle down to camp. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fringy eating worms. This yeah, it's an Australian delicacy, I guess. <laughs> Why can't you just get high like everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gollum, have you considered a hairdresser? <laughs> it looks better than uh, Patrick Willem's hair. Imagine <laughs> Gollum trying to make a comb over with all that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, in a year, that'll be what h bomb guys say. <laughs> <laughs> Just a moment where you have to be like, alright, going bald is the best thing for me. Some people, like, <laughs> like Varus, I, look better bald than they do with hair. I fucking like Gollum's little shocked expression He's there. Like, oh, he hit me. I wanted to be your friend, dude. <laughs> Frodo was like, that's bullshit. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> fuck, man. I must be smoking the same thing you are. The mist here. <laughs> it's a... It's a giant hot box. <laughs> <laughs> when they were filled with this, Peter Jackson was like, lay down in the uh, underwater and just pretend to be dead. <laughs> they were like, um, foul log. <laughs> I love that the ghosts here still look better than the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. God, they like cartoons in the, that movie. Like when people are like, oh, focus too much on writing consistency, you'll get boring movies. I'm like, bring them on. Bring on the boring movies. I'll watch them. I'll take boring over bad any day, even though the I was going to say, it's not for entertainment boring. value, probably. Like, I'd rather watch The Room than something that's well-written. Like, a guy doing his taxes consistently would be really boring. Yeah, but who's going to make that kind of movie? Yeah, this is the, this I mean, is that, the that, problem. That, that's, that's the boogeyman. The... They're like, see, it'll be that. It's like, it would 
would be that. It's like no one has ever made that. It's the straw man by idiots. You guys would not believe how high I was. <laughs> I can't say if this actually happened. <laughs> But Frodo's like, I destroyed the one rigged Sauron to the zombies, and the Gandalf's like, I killed a Balrog. Yeah, I killed a Balrog <laughs> with a sword and lightning. Dude, I'd want to be like, can we go back to the site in which you killed him just to see the corpse? Like, that's so fucking cool, Gandalf. You can, like, take some pictures with it, post it on Facebook and shit. <laughs> What's that over your, uh, of your door right there? Oh, nothing, just the skull of a Balrog that I, uh, can't. Fucking some dwarf comes across it and takes a selfie with his axe in the body, like, I did it. It was me. <laughs> so if he died again, would the gods people be like, what the fuck, dude? Three times now? <laughs> dude. That was what they used to call me. I forgot his own name, he's so high. Well, Gandalf, this is Legolas, and Gimli, and I'm Are You Frightened? <laughs> so the real question is, now that he's Gandalf the White, is he more or less high? I don't think it's fucked up that he's more powerful when white. Yeah, very racist. The coming of Merry and Pippin will be like the falling of small stones that starts an avalanche. The coming of Merry and Pippin. The coming of Merry and <laughs> <laughs> It's an event in Middle Earth history. <laughs> Gandalf, you really like these kids, huh? What do you think Tolkien would think of the tonal Bilbo memes? He would approve of that, for sure. Certainly. Did you have mushrooms in your face? Is that like... Are you gonna use those shrooms? <laughs> he's just casually peeling them off, he's like, Oh, the fuck? <laughs> it's like, you piece of shit! <laughs> fell asleep on me! Is this all I am to you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Good lighting at night. How cool are those names, by the way? Orthanc and Baradur. It's like, Tolkien, how did you come up with so many cool names? He pulled a lot from, like, Norse shit. I think he, like, took a bunch of names from there and changed, like, one letter. Oh, more than that. But... Two letters. <laughs> <laughs> he was, like, trying to create an entirely different language. And, uh, well, he made a really cool sounding one. I feel bad for the guy who made the Dothraki language. I feel bad Why? for anybody involved with Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. God, we, this is what I mean about the whole, like, we have this lucky, so we have to be thankful that these movies went fucked by the second or third. Lucky enough to get one good movie, but three in a row? Like, whoa. And they're, like, some of the best movies ever made on top of it. And made by a guy who really had no right to have made such good movies. That's what I mean about the luck element. There's so many things that should have gone wrong but didn't. The way they filmed this, I'm kind of confused as to how the Easter eggs didn't see them already. Yeah. I guess the implication is that they're a bit behind a hill, and they have to go around the hill to find them. And yeah, and you can kind of make them out with this, which is why I kind of like it. Like, yeah, I kind of believe that's not a rock. The cloaks act more like the box in uh, Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Are you gonna just walk through the front gate? Yeah, not a well thought out plan, but I guess they were just desperate. Cause they, we're right here. This is it. Are you saying there's another way into Mordor? That, that's not literally through the front gate while they're all watching? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could assume there's high walls everywhere else. Gollum, stop feeling him up. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Noto Fro. <laughs> Noto Fro. <laughs> I like the idea that Tree Beard would have walked here, looked around, been like, oh, I guess they're gone and left, and then they just die under the tree. Oh, this is so gross. Like, now is not the time, dude. I can't. Something about me can believe the idea that Grima is awkward with women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can see it. What are you talking about? He's a stud. Look just, at him. He chooses literally the worst possible time to talk to her. <laughs> like, if she was on the toilet, it would be more suitable. <laughs> now that your brother has deserted you. And the way he frames it, too, it's like, your brother deserted you, but I can take it. And she's like, I was there when you uh, gave the order to banish him, dude. <laughs> I'm not retarded. Look at that big fucking mole on his head. Or wart, rather. He was a really annoying boss in the Third Age game. He was a boss? Yep. Everyone's a what boss in the Third Age game. The fucking Eye of Sauron was a boss. Oh, is that the one where you stand hilariously on the tower and, like, hack at it? And you can send a wog after it. It's like a special move someone has. The wog jumps into it and bites it. It's just like, what the fuck? He's <laughs> even got fucking drool running down his chin. It's probably sweat, right? Maybe it's a tear. a dead guy in the room, right? <laughs> he just looks around like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a literal dead guy. Symbolism. 
Better than Drogon melting the Iron Throne. Oh god, dude, don't even fuck. Fucking stupid. dragon understands the symbolism. He's a well-read dragon. People argue with that. It's like, the dragon's a hyper-intelligent. It makes sense. They're like, oh, fuck off. Martin actually said that they're not. There's an interview on YouTube you can watch. It actually says they're not that intelligent. Not compared to, like, Smaug or anything. Even Smaug probably wouldn't have put that together. He'd be like, wow, she was a bitch. Just a fucking chair. The only thing I could think of that might work with that is if uh, John was standing in front of it and then Drogon tried to burn him. And he didn't die because of the Targaryen thing. Which wouldn't make sense because he got burned in season one. Yeah, I know. I kind of wish they didn't do that just so we could have that moment. And the show could have it so that all Targaryens were- Well, no, not all Targaryen. Fuck it, whatever. I didn't <laughs> Although, like, he's like, he wouldn't pot an old man from his stick. And he's like, you're a fucking wizard! Just staff! I'm not stupid. I ain't gonna try to take a staff from a wizard. <laughs> I ain't fucking doing it. That's above my pay grade. I like how Legless kind of helps walk him in. Yeah, he's an innocent man. old man. I told you to Stop. Yeah, but he's a fucking wizard. <laughs> so I mean, like, I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, then realized that I want to live, and it made a convincing argument. I like the idea that Gandalf, after coming to sobriety, decided to try and save Theoden from <laughs> the meth. The methamphetamine has addled your mind. Don't you weak? I will detox you magically. <laughs> And I'll fucking disrobes in front of him. <laughs> He's just naked. <laughs> oh, I love, uh, you'll be able to hear Saruman's voice. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. If I go, Theoden dies. <laughs> Payback for the spinning. <laughs> just felt the need to touch his buddy there. And he looks so much that better. That's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> This movie did the de-aging thing way before Captain. They did it with Samuel L. Jackson and everyone was like, this is so cool, and it's like, they did it 20 years Man, ago. Dude, that tells you something that all everyone, everyone could talk about was the de-aging tech. <laughs> like, what else is there? <laughs> like, there's comments from the special effects people say that was the most difficult thing they'd done, and it was impossible to get it right and stuff, and I was just like, well, at least you guys tried. Seems to be a running theme with anything nowadays. Everyone but the writers are trying. Either that, or the writers really are trying and we just live in a really sad world. <laughs> I don't want to believe that they're not trying at all. I'd prefer that world. Do you know they actually had a forge in the studio to make these swords and shit? Really? So like these are real like all, swords? Not all of them. Some of them are. I mean, they probably get the good ones for the up close shots like mm. this and a lot of props and extras for the background stuff. Man, I really wanted him to kill Grima. <laughs> The chainmail is actually largely real, too. Like, they made millions of links. In the special features, they talk about how most fantasy chainmail is done horribly, so they decide to make real one, so that it looks more authentic. Technically, Legolas kill steals Grima Winka. Yeah, Legolas is just the fucking kill stealer of the trilogy. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, how much XP is that? It's like, one. He's like, what? He's like, oh, range damage. <laughs> <Range TPS. laughs> Ever since Gandalf killed the Balrog single-handedly, he's been <laughs> pee back. But then Eowyn goes and kills the Witch King and just pisses off like this. He comes up at the top of his screen while he's running around 10,000 XP and he's like, what? He's like, Eowyn has leveled up. He's like, god damn it. <laughs> or just, he keeps spamming notifications. He's leveled up, leveled up, leveled up, leveled up. She was on zero. <laughs> She's just going really high. I could just imagine it cutting to Legolas, like, sitting down and screaming. Look at all these helmets and all the chain mail and scale mail and all the armor and the weapons and it just looks so... It, it, I mean, it's got this great aesthetic to it, this dark green, brown, Norse kind of look to it. It's just so awesome. I love that if you really look closely at every single place they go, even between the elves in, uh... Karas Galathorn and Lothlorien, they don't look the same. Like every single culture in these movies looks different. Uh, it, but you have Elagost is the is the ranger type guy that you meet. He's your the fuck is Elagost. Pretty sure he's Dune Dane, isn't he? I'm not sure. I haven't played that game in it. It's co-op. We should play through it together. It's Dune Dane. Gosh. Dune Dane. Well, Dune Dane. I don't care how well, some guy it's, pronounced it. Dune Dane sounds cooler than Dune Dane. No, it doesn't. Totally does. Dane. No, it Great doesn't. Dane. Fucking awesome Duna doggos. Dune Dine. I know what it is you Duna Dine sounds like a fucking great feast. And a dune. <laughs> They're all discussing these huge issues and Gabriel's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> This cheese is fucking good. <laughs>
This <laughs> goes well with my foot. <laughs> Look at all the food he's got. Theoden. Not Aragorn was king of Rohan. Alright, jeez. Fine, fine. Be a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> he wipes his mouth with his beard. beard. My beard he to wipe my beard. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Gilmy Gilmy Gimli <laughs> is the is the last dwarf that actually looks like a dwarf, and then in the Hobbit, all the dwarves look like handsome. And oh shit. fuck yeah, <sighs> fuck that. That really like, annoyed me. Philly doesn't even have a beard, I don't think. Or was it Kelly? I can't remember. The, the one that the girl dates, he's literally like Aragorn but short. <laughs> so dumb. Shadowfax is like, I'm above these other horses. You realize <laughs> like, this? I, I have to shit in the corner. What have you done to me, Gandalf? <laughs> Listen, I need you to understand that this is not acceptable. <laughs> what's happening right now? I'm keeping myself level. But I'm, about I'm doing to this for you, Cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go into conniptions. <laughs> This is unacceptable! Please tell me we're fucking getting out of here. Thank you so much. Let's go. <laughs> Those like fucking horses in here. Get up, they tried to speak to me. To me! <laughs> How dare they? He's trying to get out of there so fast. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this, this is the guy though, this is Shadow Facts, like, fuck! <laughs> oh my god, mountains, Jesus. They were like, bring him back! Bring him back! <laughs> we wanted to, we were making fun of him. He was such a faggot. <laughs> Things he's so much you better than us! With, with like a lisp, like, hey guys, my name's Battle Facts, I'm a lord of the horses. You guys have to bow, bow! <laughs> Aragorn's like, I'll take care of it. They just boots him with the fucking back legs and he flings across the room. <laughs> he suplexes the horse. <laughs> or just, the fuck down there, Carl. Just kicks him in the face, snaps his spine, and there he's gone. <laughs> Aragorn uh, fought bravely. <laughs> Dude, there's a scene in John Wick Three where he uses a horse. I, have, to I kill. haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. So it was fun, but it was dumb. <laughs> you describe in the second one. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, like I told you, I don't even remember a single thing that happened in the second. Bringy is perpetually salty that I didn't like that film. <laughs> Listen, the pigeon lord Lawrence Fishburne. Oh god, don't is stop, not, stop. <laughs> not happy with your commentary. Fucking, when he's like, I will give you seven bullets. Me and Alex are like, why? <laughs> he's got really fancy lamps. Oh yeah, they're awesome. I want them. You stink of whores. <laughs> you stink <Get> of whores. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Dunedain Rangers, I thought he was. You, you pronounce it the same way Grima Wormtongue does. What a villain. He bore a strange ring, one devouring, the other crowned with golden flowers. It's very I love, <laughs> I love that not only did he real like get such a good look at the ring that he was able to perfectly describe it, but he's got a book that has the same <laughs> Let me call up a buddy of mine who's an expert in Lost Gondorian airs. <laughs> Let me get my two well, serpent ring no. book. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, Gambling. Bring my whores. Bring my whores. Sorry, sir. Just for just for clarification, <laughs> can you say that one more time? <laughs> Just, just so we're clear, because this is a very important distinction. Sir, I, I know He's that- basically just tall Tyrion. <laughs> but Thaden's like, no, they are one and the same. It's like, like all right. I know Grima was <laughs> mostly bad for you, but he actually freed all of your whores. <laughs> He's like, aww. <laughs> SJW moments in Lord of the Rings of Two Towers. <laughs> the suspicious amount of women in this scene are playing this <laughs> Women did not use swords. They were unable to. A shield made. You are a maiden, right? <laughs> I do not think. <laughs> Has anyone soiled your flower? Just, just. You are know. you unspoilt? <laughs> shall we take you? Shall I take you to the Black Tower of Isengard? <laughs> oh God, the flower thing! You just reminded me of all the really awkward sex scenes in the Game of Thrones books. Isn't the most awkward sex scene from a book though the one in it? Oh God, that's not just awkward. It's just. Perverse and disgusting. Why did you write that? <laughs> <laughs> that was during the cocaine years. Yeah, That's why everyone says that still doesn't explain it. I would argue, what's worse, the fact that he was coked out of his mind and wrote it, or the fact that someone sober kept it in? I would argue the latter is worse. Like that made it through sober Stephen King at some point, right? And his publisher. <laughs> they will have women and children with them. <laughs> children. <laughs> 
Can you imagine what the direction must have been like? Andy, we need you to like roll around in the river and chase after a CGI fish. <laughs> it's not going in the movie. I just want to see what I can make you do. <laughs> so I'm going to stretch you Lord of the Rings knowledge. You know the, the who the boss of the, the Wogs is? His name? Mm -hmm. No, because it's never spoken in the movies and I haven't played the games. Yeah, it's all over the games. You see, he's like a consistent boss, Shaku. Not as cool as Lurtz. I like that Lurtz isn't even in the books and people like recognize him as one of the best villains in the series. He doesn't even have a line aside from Saruman. <laughs> but he's so cool. I know he's cool. His name's on the show, uh, the, the movies, isn't it? The only reason I know about it is because of people talking about it in YouTube videos. And I was like, oh, that's his name. What about Gothmog? Is that said in the movies? Not that I remember. I think you were the one that told me his name was Gothmog. So weird how that works. Like, you can learn so much lore by accident because they don't make those names up. They have to go get them from, you know, sources or whatever. How do they get their names? Pull them out of the ground? I'm sure Saruman names each an individual one. At the christening, he has a graduation ceremony. You will be big. Lurtz. You will be Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I have the, can I have the name? <laughs> when you, once you get a thousand down the line, you're like, Frank, you are Franklin. I mean, how did you imagine? Raggy. I mean, imagine how difficult it must have been for Tolkien to create all this shit. Like, how do you come up with the plains of Gorgoroth or the Numenorians, Rohan, Minas Tirith, Minas Morgul? See, at some point, you just throw a bunch of letters together and over and over again in like a jumbler, and you're like, "Ooh, Tirith, that sounds dumb. Minas, just swap them around." Tinas Miras. <laughs> That could have been it, and we could have believed it. <laughs> Tinas Mirith. <laughs> and we wouldn't know any different. You know what I'm looking forward to Helm's Deep right now? <laughs> and you know what I want to reference. <laughs> <when we get. laughs> Man, a lot of people tried comparing the siege in uh, Battle of the Bastards to uh, the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, and it's like, no, no, don't compare them. I like Battle of the Bastards, but that fight's pretty dumb, too. Yeah, I like it, too, but God, even if it was smart, it doesn't beat Pelennor Fields. Nothing beats Pelennor Fields. Pelennor Fields' scale is huge. I just love that shot where you see them, like, slowly coming over the rock. Since it's like, oh god, they're here. Oh, Spiegel was like, they're fucked, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, take his wallet. And the dwarfs just spring out of holes in the ground. I haven't seen my niece smile for a long time. How would you know? She was a girl when they brought her father back. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> she watched her mother succumb to grief. <laughs> Aragorn's like, do you have to be a doubter, dude? We just watching Gimli fall off his horse, man. And now here you are, talking about dead people. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I get it, your son died, but that was like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta to, you, you gotta get over it, man. Oh, this is the crappy porridge shit. Haven't people argued that this is like sexist or something? <laughs> what, that the woman can't cook? Yeah. Isn't that the opposite? <laughs> it's like, women shouldn't be in the kitchen. Apparently people argued that this is intensely sexist, and it's like, Oh, it's not. Stop. Swallow it, Aragorn. Swallow it. Swallow. Spit. Don't you gotta swallow wonder, Aragorn. like, what did she do? <laughs> if it's like... It tastes healthy. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle told me a strange thing. It's like burning his hands. <laughs> I could just feel the nutrition sliding down my throat. <laughs> I probably won't have to eat for another week. Or poop for another week. <laughs> no, I think he's gonna be shitting for quite a while. If he's just like super honest, he's like, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> she says Duna Dine too, see? Right, you got Grima Wim Tongue and the, and the woman who can't cook on your team now. I'm sorry. Please eat. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna smoke himself into a stupor later. <laughs> You wash the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> Picture Gandalf like snatching it off. And like that's mine, you dick. <laughs> no, Gandalf, I need that. I need the heavy shit. I gotta forget that. I like that Viggo Mortensen's aged about six hundred years since this movie. I mean, he was already getting up there for this movie, right? Was he like in his late forties? He's older now than he than Ian McKellen was when they started filming this. Man, wow. Hmm. Which is funny because he's aged a lot better than Ian McKellen, but you compare him to this and he looks really, really old. What does she know about his comment about, what do your elf eyes see? <laughs> <laughs> She'd have to sit down and be like, alright, Aragorn. 
What do you mean by elf eyes? Do you not like the size of my eyes? He's like, are you jealous that elves on average are 10 IQ points higher than men? Is that it? <laughs> it's kind of weird how the orgs look like a cross between like bears and lions in this. But then in hyena lion bears. Yeah. But in the Hobbit, they're just straight up really big wolves. You're right. More like giant hyena bears. Oh man, that was the guy who let Gandalf keep his staff. <laughs> he just screams, we're under attack, and everyone panics. <laughs> what is it, Aragorn? He's like, a dwarf. <laughs> large dwarf. <laughs> a suspiciously large <laughs> amount of dwarves. I can fight. No. You fight as well as you cook. <laughs> ah yes, where physics no longer works. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, no. I would not want to be a horse in this scenario. <laughs> oh man, that was so hit. <laughs> 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 that warg's self-preservation instincts really did not kick in. He's like, oh fuck, a cliff. So awkward if he was just on one of those stones like, hey. <laughs> you guys so like... You like a rope. Leave the dead. Dude, fuck you. Sorry, man. We got places to be. Wouldn't they have seen it from up on that hill? Everyone's like speeding off. He's like, you know, that's like fucking two miles, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a while. That <laughs> slow the fuck down. Yeah. Uh, you still got a long ass way to go, man. I know I told Baller this, but Rags, did you know that there was actually like a deleted scene where there was supposed to be orcs down in the caves that shows Eowyn battling them? I didn't know there was a deleted scene for that. The scene wasn't like put together or anything. There's just a few shots showing like the beginning stages of it. And they didn't really hmm. do anything with it. I would have been fine with that. That would have been cool to see. It would have been an SJW yeah. moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there are suspiciously too many women in these caves. It's like, I'm sorry, how many were oh, they? It's like, they're what? glittering caves too, of course they are. Yeah, we had like a fucking battle. He's like, alright, don't rub it in, Jesus. <laughs> He's like, you know they were on like big fucking hyena bears, right? <laughs> you wanna fight one? <laughs> you wanna fight one? It's fucking, that's fucking hard. Where is he? He fell. Yeah, he said his stomach was bothering him right before the battle. <laughs> Maybe that was it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's explosive diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, his ass just exploded in the middle of the battle, and that was it's the end crazy. of it. <laughs> Luckily, he was on the enemy lines when this happened. He took a few works done with him, don't worry. In the meantime, let's weaponize your stew. <laughs> <laughs> they, they fill, like, the swamp part of this with it. What kind of device could bring down the Dude. <laughs> Can you imagine if he just lit it up and then <laughs> a boof? The return of the king! <laughs> oh, that just explodes. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, it just cuts to the outside and they watch it blow up and then fall down, and all the orcs are like, what the hell? What do we do now? <laughs> this part's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I like that he's still holding his candle. Yeah. They went out too. <laughs> March to hell! Yeah, Grima was apparently unaware of them. Grima, what did you expect was gonna happen when you told Saruman your, the plan to get in? I wonder if they're blindfolded. <laughs> they can't be afraid of the Rohan soldiers <laughs> and they can't see them. Right? I like how there's like one of the most common fears that humans have is based after the idea of not being able to see. The fear of, yeah, being afraid of the dark. <laughs> I guess he just kind of forgot that. The horse is like, hey, it looks like meat's back on the menu. Oh, he's awake near. <laughs> I mean, nay. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Mortal Engines. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, he even looked good dead. An image. <laughs> they had to fucking make that. <laughs> like, I assume so. I don't know. That might be CGI, but I mean, fuck. It might, the fact that we can't tell. <laughs> is kind of like, then again, there's Lord of the Rings, and you're like, you might have fucking made that. Yeah, I just, just like the idea that. Like 12 seconds. Every time they were presented with two options, and one of them took more. Like, you know, time and effort and talent. Pia Jackson was just like, that one. <laughs> kind of makes sense that she, like, after she loses everything, she just walks down and ends up outside of Mordor. That's some kind of comment about her being a woman. She doesn't know what to do without a man. Is that it, Wolf? Yes. 
fucking I'm just saying, women are useless. Oh, shit. I thought you were saying something No, sexist. anyone can cook. Mm. <laughs> Only in your subjective, objective opinion. The hey, they can't be afraid. The Wait. Yep. Is failing. Fearless. You just he made hobbits failed. fearless. <laughs> like, it is permanent. If you take it off, they've, they've still gained fearlessness the from the experience. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. <laughs> They're just passing around the little person. <laughs> It's like hot potato, but... <laughs> I was moving someone like, like Faramir, what the fuck? Why did you just pick up two random kids? What, what, what is this? Why did you blow? Oh god, Faramir, what are you... <laughs> They're not kidding. Giant midgets. I can't get over that. There's also a giant midget in this movie. <laughs> it's like, how could you have said that line? I cannot wait to have the EFAP like, highlights where I take all of the best ever moments and you just combine them all in a row. Like when Patrick Willems said his bullshit about the fucking milking thing, that bit. Like there's just so many of the best moments of all the Tismy people we've covered. <laughs> Dead? How? As one of his companions, I'd hoped you would tell me. If something has happened to Boromir, we would have you tell us. Oh, well, he's dead, so... That was an interesting dialogue. He basically just said, you're gonna tell me because I don't know. And then he was like, you're gonna tell me because I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's also that line in Return of the King where Gandalf's like, Dark Lord Sauron has yet to unveil his greatest weapon. You met him before. <laughs> 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 and it's like, mm, Gandalf, might want to rephrase that. Yeah, Pippin's like, so I have met him before? <laughs> so he's been unveiled then. He hasn't put on his cool mask. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Which, by the way, fuck me, is that a cool mask for Witch King? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always felt more sympathetic for Boromir after these scenes as well, because he's so yeah. loved and leadery and courageous. Then he enters the Fellowship and he's kind of the asshole, which from his perspective is probably like, Welcome I'm not supposed to be the asshole. Plus, he's also really nice to Faramir when Denethor isn't. I fucking hate Denethor. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a shitty person. <laughs> oh man, when he sends Faramir off, I remember just being like, Yep, yeah, you need to die horribly now. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily he does die horribly. Preferably yeah, by I, fire I like and gravity. Stayed. The ring will seek to corrupt the hearts of lesser men, but you, you are strong. Man, this scene is so good for Boromir, but I can see why they cut it, because it doesn't serve anything going forward, really. Yeah, that's why people always say watch the extended editions. And unlike other extended editions, like uh, the BVS extended edition that adds nothing of value and makes the movie even worse, these are really only cut because the movies are so long that they wouldn't work in theaters otherwise. A chance for Faramir, Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. I trust this mission only to your brother. The one who will not fail me. Then he proceeds to fail you. <laughs> no reason to accept it. And you know what's cool? Uh, one of Faramir's moves is in the Third Age when he fights with you is Faramir's quality. Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's great. That's a great he, um, I think he gives a buff to the whole team. Like, it's like a defensive thing. To enter the forbidden pool bears the penalty of death. You made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought this was just a weird outpost that we passed through. <laughs> Damn, it would have been really brutal if they just peppered it with fucking arrows here. <laughs> how different would the story have been if he did die? And Faramir lets them go for it. I was like, you wouldn't happen to know how to get into Mordor, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I like how Gollum's like, hey, I'm the one that usually tricks people. What's going on? <laughs> Faramir's like, what the shit is happening? This guy like possessed. <laughs> <laughs> a really funny way for that to end would have been a slap. He's like, that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Goddamn. Fuck, man. It kind of baffles me when I went to go see Endgame. The like owner of the theater came in and he was like, "All right, guys, it's gonna be three hours and there's no breaks." And it's like, I'm watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended. I just like uh, Wolf. You're like, do you know who I am? He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I run a, a podcast where we don't have breaks for like eight hours. <laughs> by the way, Aragorn is right next to him. He's now going to buy horseback, get to Helm's Deep, possibly like a good half day before they do. Then you have Game of Thrones season eight that has Arya and the Hound leaving in the morning, and then Jon's army l marching in the afternoon early night, and yet Arya and the Hound arrive them. after them. Like, <sighs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure John and everyone else was marching too, so... It's... I just, like, none of... Uh, everything is wrong, and you're like, you, you think to yourself, like, can't you even get these things right? Like, the really easy things, and now we get to see how much they care about each other. My arm fucking hurts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you seen my arm, dude? <laughs> Gimli, it's, it's starting to rot off. <laughs> She br she brings over more soup. He's like, no. He pours it on his wound and it starts to... <laughs> Cauterizes it. <laughs>
They make 10,000 Urukai seem terrifying in this, while, do you remember 20,000 Golden Company at the front of the King's Landing Gate? Bullshit. Wolf? When did <laughs> it, was, it was like a thousand at most. I don't even think it was that much and they all died immediate. Yeah, one blast from fire and they were all dead. <laughs> it's fucking useless. I really hate it when they just spout lofty numbers and then they don't commit to them. Remember Euron said I have a thousand uh, ships in my fleet? He says it twice in season 8. He's got like 50. Yeah. The elf thing is the only thing out of all three of these don't like. They, first off, weren't in the book. They kill a character that didn't die in the book and on top of that they didn't add anything. Like they didn't do anything that they couldn't do themselves. Yeah, and they all die and they're all forgotten. They also provided a lot of archers. It doesn't really change anything that wouldn't have happened if they didn't show up anyway. Yeah, they Especially could have just since had Rohan archers. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a problem. It's just a kind of silly thing. Like, why include them if they're not going to do anything if they're all going to die and be forgotten the instant the battle's done? And even that's such a small thing in the long run. They love you. I only just met these guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're like friends, you know, but... I've only known them for like a week or two. I'd have a beer with yeah, this like... guy. He's like, hey. <laughs> hey, what up? <laughs> I just Aragorn, imagine, I invented like, a new card game. game. It's called Solitaire. You have to see it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Je Je Jeff just came up with his new card game. I gotta go. Uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Look at them. They're frightened. Like, listen, maybe you should keep your voice down a little. The Dagathire. Then I shall die as one of them. Everyone's like, what do you mean? We're gonna win, We're right, Aragorn? Die. Aragorn? <laughs> Who am I, Gambling? <laughs> your King Theoden. <laughs> do you trust your king? Not when you're talking like this. I'm you're pretty right. sure there's a there's a supercut where it's like a horror movie Follow trailer me. or a Lord of the Rings, <laughs> like Theoden's losing his mind. <laughs> that is no awkward. He goes outside, it's just an army of orcs, he's like, oh. Maybe they added this because they had that part where Elrond say, and Arwen are talking about, oh, there's no help, dude. Is it, is it because they things. don't serve enough of a purpose that it annoys you, Wolf? Yeah. They're proud to fight like, they're not, nothing to do with why they're here or how they're here. There's enough room where you can be like, okay, maybe someone could have sent word, either Gandalf or somebody else. It's just that they don't add anything, so it's like, well, why even keep them? I know, personally, I'm okay with them all mostly dying to save Helm's Deep. The part that I do actually agree with is kind of a problem is I don't believe anyone ever mentions their sacrifice. Yeah, they don't add anything meaningful to the battle, and they are completely forgotten after it's done, so it's like, well, if you took him out, what would have changed? Could have picked a better spot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just think you can see them going all the way back the trail, and then that director is like, it's it's scarier when you can't see anything. I don't know what they're doing behind the castle wall. Shouldn't yeah, they be outside in front of the trench? With the uh, trebuchets. I love that the rain on the helmet sounds. It's just so good. Yeah, I'm sorry. It kind of broke my immersion. Like, why aren't they all outside facing <laughs> their back to the Urukai bent over? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they do like to spoil their enemies. Shall I describe it to you, or would you like me to find you a box? <laughs> 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 that reaction makes it. Don't fuck this up, old man. Nice shot, though. Yeah, it was a hell of a shot. Hey, look, it didn't puncture the armor. He hit it in the neck. In the neck, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess a complaint I'd have is that they wait way too long just to be shooting it. Yeah. Give them a volley. I don't know why you would, like, wouldn't this just be constant? Oh, yeah, there wouldn't be volleys at this point. It'd just be fast as you guys can shoot, just can keep going. Oh, this is so cool. This shot right here. This is awesome. Yeah. All the berserkers are at the top of them. Berserkers in all of the games are always so fucking hard to beat. I was sure that must have been a movie invention, but that actually was in the books where they're keeping score of how many kills they have. Yeah, I would not feel safe climbing the ladder. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna knock this shit down. We never say anything. Unless it is worth taking a long time to say. Jack Saint would hate this guy. Dude, Trivia is the quintessential long man bad. Yeah. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Have you heard the, the criticism that uh, they should have done this way earlier? Or? Yeah, probably should have. I'd happily assume that they were trying to get these explosives in safely from the back. Like they wouldn't oh, yeah, have on the front line. Yeah very valuable. Yeah, that makes sense. I would assume that they would have, like, the guy with the 
catch up a little close. And if he died, they just send another. That's the thing, I've never taken that drama seriously when they're like, damn it, if Legolas only killed him, it's like, it wouldn't make a difference. Someone else would just pick it up. <laughs> you know they got a lot of torches, yeah. <laughs> what if he got impaled on one of those pikes? Right up his crotch. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I've disarmed him! Uh, Rigor Mortis is set in, he's not let go of my throat. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. Not a word. <laughs> <laughs> what if he didn't throw him far enough? <laughs> <laughs> he just smashed into the bridge and fell. Yeah, like it's safe to assume those kinds of things take time for the Urukai to set up yeah. and get yeah. to the front lines. I really want to know how many died from this. <laughs> Looks like he got fucking 30 <laughs> kills, or at least. Gimli's gonna be upset. Gimli wins, though, by one. I thought that the competition ended with Legolas shooting the guy who's twitching or whatever. Yeah, but then he, like, moved his axe and he was like, he's twitching because I got my axe bad Yeah, so it's, it's unconfirmed who really won. I vote Gimli. <laughs> I vote Booba Kill Count is more than one. <laughs> he wins for this movie, he doesn't win for the next. It always freaks me out how close the Urukai are in, the, in this shot. Yeah. Yeah, they're right there. Like, I love that pan. Like, they're pouring in, they're on the staircase that Aragorn and Legolas are heading towards. The reason I don't mind the scouring of the Shire not being in the third movie is because there's shit like that. With, uh, Merry and Pippin and their development with the Ents and then what happens with Sam and Frodo here. Because they still ultimately learn the same lessons and have the same development. Just cut that scene for more theatrical. What was the cinematic. lesson of the scouring of the Shire? Uh, mostly like finding their freedom and sanctity of which I feel like they were able to perfectly convey with the changes that they made while allowing for ending that would fit cinema better. I'd have more of a problem if they didn't learn the same shit, hmm. but they still get the same thing out of it without having done it. I remember someone making the argument that. I think it was important to keep it because it was supposed to be thematically relevant that the hardships are not over just because they beat Sauron. Oh yeah, I think they were able to explore that a bit with his uh, PTSD. Hmm. I understand why they made the change, because to fit for a movie, you, you can't make a movie the same way that you make a book, especially one as filled with subtext as rings. The only problem with uh, Merry and Pippin is like they do get the same thing out of it with the Ents, but it's unfortunately at the cost of the Ents kind of looking like idiots. You win some, you lose some. So they're not objectively perfect movies, huh? Never said they were perfect. Said that they were absolutely flawless in every single way possible. Uh, I remember I'm, he said that, yeah. I pointed out flaws as we were watching it. Um, well, I don't think so. Yeah, suddenly a narrative changed. I think you just agreed with ours so you could fit in mm -hmm. with your friends. <laughs> I just like how much the he's the only good looking edge. The rest of them look like tis as fuck. <laughs> like why don't they just use guns? <laughs> oh yeah, I always found that the fact that there's a way out of the caves. I was like, they should totally have started taking that route even when the fight started, and then you could just send someone in case they win the war. Yeah. I can understand them not going at first. Dude was like, we'll definitely not lose Helm's Deep. But once the wall explodes, he should have been like, mm, maybe we should make him <laughs> I am concerned. Let's make a neat and orderly line towards the back of the caves. Imagine trying to be that guy to organize it. It's like, everyone, we're leaving. Uh, please, guys, but... follow, follow. We have signage and appropriate areas for your viewing. It doesn't mean that we're losing. This is oh. just a precautionary measure. It's standard safety protocol. It's a corporate thing. It's out of my hands. A part of it does make sense, because Theoden is kind of shown to be pretty full of himself in this movie. Like, yeah, like I said. He thinks he's unde undefeatable, or undefeatable. Yeah, it this would be undefeatable. Is, this is his second wind. Rich Evans is undefeatable. <laughs> this is kind of a silly thing, because then you gotta be like, where the horses come from? Well, they they kept the horses in the back. Also, I what the fuck's Gimli gonna do when they all pour into that room and he's the only one in there? <laughs> When he comes down, he's like, hey. He's gonna blow the horn until he's dead, dude. <laughs> it's working, guys. Just as soon as we get to the end of this bridge, though, I'm a kid, Sid. Yeah. yeah, and I've always been sympathetic with Saruman here, as if he didn't know much about the trees, and he's just, like, beyond fucking confused as to what's happening here. Like, wh okay, where'd they come from? Why are they doing he, this? Uh, what are they? He wakes up one morning, looks out his window, and he's like, fuck are the trees killing all of my people? <laughs> That's what I mean, he's just like, this is the most bizarre fucking event, like... Do you think he might have, like, opened his mouth, closed it, gone back inside, and been... Went up to Grima and been like, okay, what's happening? He, like, slaps himself it a few times. It seems that the trees are attacking us. 
They are led by two hobbits. <laughs> just the idea that they report to him is like, so we've lost our entire army. He's just like, how? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the video game, you get up to there, and there's a tree trying to open the dam, but orcs are firing arrows at him, and he's going, ah, and you have to kill the orcs to let him open the, the, the dam. And it's just funny because of how quickly he does it in the movie. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I don't think he needed anyone's help. Saruman sees that, he's like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Just flies away on an eagle, like, I was doing different things somewhere else. <laughs> Everyone always finds that funny, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it makes yeah. sense to me. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. Oh, dude, imagine working down there, like, oh, what? what? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He's like, is it raining today? Oh, shit! <laughs> Just goes know? full Titanic on everybody. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be on that thing. It's so great. Every Everyone's, like, holding on and scrambling. Yeah, I was it's gonna say, so that well looked animated. really good. I'm not even sure yeah, how. Yeah, so much work was put into the little guys running away. <laughs> Smeagol's like, could you... Could you cut me out of this? Like, <laughs> ever? Without the scouring of the Shire, it is kind of weird to think that a lot of those hobbits have no idea any of it happened. Yeah. Reminds me of the fucking maesters in Game of Thrones. But it does kind of go along with the idea, like, they come back, everything's normal, and they're, they're changed. Yeah. yeah. Goes along with the world building, like, most people don't even know that hobbits. Yeah, the Ents don't even know about hobbits. And they've been around for how long? A grabillion years. Random review for the new X-Men by some guy, like, you know, professional reviewer person, it says, uh, it's B-movie bad, intimately hilarious, if only someone had told the filmmakers. <laughs> Green was like, I just Dude, woke up with the hell? I love the idea that Saruman has continuously been moving from one side of his little balcony to the other, just looking shocked. Like, <gasps> <gasps> I would not want to eat anything floating in that water. Yeah, that's like orc piss water. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a chicken. <laughs> a turkey. It's like, oh, I get that you like to eat, but Jesus Christ. The weed! I'm surprised this looks this way, considering orcs had control over this area. Maybe it was uh, Saruman's private stash. <laughs> his, stock, well, his alchemy stockpile, if you get me. In, in fairness, he did have those human people with him. I smell some dank weed in there. <laughs> I can smell my brother, what the fuck? <laughs> Would've been kind of weird slash neat if Faramir was like, this is the most important mission that is happening right now, I'll go with you. It would be kind of cool if he and Sam assaulted Kirith on together. If he and Sam assaulted Gollum together. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> regularly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my Sam, oh my God! Look, Faramir puts his hand over Gollum's mouth, and Sam just beats him. <laughs> oh, Frodo sleeps. How come you always wake up? How come every time I wake up, you're crying, Gollum? <laughs> they just stay, like glare at him. He's like, no reason. <laughs> my God, this is really dark. All our hopes now lie with two little hobbits. <laughs> Theoden's like, what? <laughs> like metaphorically, right? Our hopes are like two little hobbits <laughs> crossing over the mountains. Like, mm -hmm. you gave them the ring. <laughs> <laughs> like it's probably already gone, you asshole. You've left out one of the chief characters, Samwise the Brave. I want to hear more about Sam. Sam the Brave strongly beats Meagle. <laughs> Regular. <laughs> I was being serious. So was I. <laughs> it's so gay. <laughs> Just admit it already. <laughs> Call me Samwise the Brave some more. <laughs> we be the master. <gasps> the fat hobbit. <laughs> I'm sure after they filmed this, Peter was like, you're suspiciously good at this. <laughs> Everyone gives Heath Ledger the credit for playing the insane person, but Andy Serkis did it way before he did. Das und Endun. Yep, 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 yep.